Ambassador Designate of the Republic of Tunisia. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic, I have the honor to present to you Anwar bin Yusuf, Ambassador Designate of the Republic of Tunisia. I 
of the purpose of Kenya by means of Article 132.4b of the Constitution of Kenya to accept your letters of credence and authorize you, your Excellency, to pursue the interests of your government within the territory of Kenya by fostering the forms of friendship and promoting the widest possible sense of friendship within the law. The mutual aspirations of the people of Kenya and our two nations and thereby enlarge our relations to merit them. Again, the Excellency Ambassador, congratulations.
Vem com a minha cobra.
and cabinet secretary and minister for foreign affairs, head of public service, deputy chief of staff in my office. Commander of our Kenya Air Force. Europe. Director Americas. Director Aruk. I'm pressing to introduce you, my Chief of Service. Your Excellency. Thank you very much, and very much. Hello, Mom. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ambassador designate of the Republic of Argentine. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic, I have the honor to present to you Louis Aliantro Levit, Ambassador Designate of the Republic of Argentina. His Excellency, Mr. President William Samuel Ruto, I'd like to start by conveying the greetings of the President of Argentina, Javier Milei, and his wishes for growing prosperity for you, Mr. President, for the people of Kenya, and for your government. My authorities have a strong interest in strengthening the friendship ties that unite our countries, together with our common values of freedom, peace, and democracy, which we have shared since we established diplomatic relations. In that respect, we will focus on promoting new opportunities for bilateral cooperation in agriculture as a contribution to food security, together with other areas such as cooperation in sports, education, health, nuclear and space, with the main goal of our people's prosperity. The bilateral relations between Kenya and Argentina are a priority for my government. We want to increase ties through visits from authorities and technical missions that could result in new agreements with the goal of putting our relationships at the highest level. In this sense, last year we made a decision to expand the staff of our embassy in Nairobi. We want to convey our wish that Kenya can open a resident embassy in Buenos Aires. For this, you can count on the full cooperation and support of the Argentine government and the hospitality of our people so this can become a reality. 
We especially want to express our recognition and gratitude to the Republic of Kenya for the leadership and commitment shown in the mission of Haiti's recovery. Your Excellency, please count on the full support of the Argentine Republic to ensure the success of such a valuable mission. Excellency, in conclusion, I will spare no effort in accomplishing the mission entrusted to me by my President and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Diana Mondino, to deepen our bilateral relations and to promote together our common values. Uh, let me finish with a message from the Argentine people to the Kenyan people. Nungu Ibaliki Kenya. Asante San. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Congratulations, Ambassador. Welcome to Kenya. I, William Samoe Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya, by dint of Article 1324B of the Constitution of Kenya, do accept your letters of credence and authorize Your Excellency to pursue the interests of your government within the territory of Kenya by fostering the bonds of friendship and promoting to the widest possible within the law, the mutual aspirations and, their, and thereby our relations to levels possible and merited. Again, congratulations.
Prime Cabinet Secretary and Minister for Foreign Affairs, Head of Public Service, Deputy Chief of Staff, PS Foreign Affairs, Commander of our Kenya Air Force, Director Europe, Director Americas, Director Africa. Thank you. Uh, hello and welcome to Kenya. Welcome to Kenya. Deputy Chief of Mission, Cynthia Cynthia, how are you? Thank you very much. You've been looking after the office? Yes, of course. I'm the Secretary of Okay. Thank you very much. Welcome again. Ambassador designate of the Republic of Peru. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic, I have the honor to present to you Ronnie Sonia Tinkopa, Ambassador Designate of the Republic of Peru. Your Excellency, Dr. William Samor Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya. I would like to express you the warm greetings for the President of the Republic of Peru, Mrs. Dina Boluarte, and from the Peruvian people. Let me take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude for the kind welcome and hospitality that Peru has received since we arrived in this beautiful country. As you know, last year, Peru decided to reopen its embassy in Nairobi with the firm commitment to promote relations with Kenya and its African countries, and to intensify its participation 
in multilateral processes focus mainly on, on anxious against climate change. Peru and Kenya have 48 years of diplomatic relations, reflecting our shared value of friendship, cooperation, and mutual respect. In this sense, we will seek to strengthen ties in all possible areas, including trade, investment, agriculture, tourism, and culture, among others. We will also identify opportunities to collaborate in exchanging knowledge, technology, and experiences for the benefit of our peoples. In addition, I would like to reaffirm Peru's commitment to strengthening multilateral cooperation in international forums such as the United Nations and the African Union. We need to work together in finding solutions to global challenges, such as climate change, plastic pollution, poverty, food security, gender equality, and peace and security. In this last item, Peru appreciates the decision of your government to lead a multinational security support mission in Haiti, and hopes that its success will benefit the Haitian people and the Latin American and Caribbean region. Mr. President, Peru will work together with Kenya to foster a strong and beneficial partnership for both nations and to contribute to the well-being and prosperity of our people. Thank you. William Samoe Ruto, President of Kenya, by dint of Article 1324B of the Constitution of Kenya, do accept your letters of credence and authorize Your Excellency to pursue the interests of your government within the territory of Kenya by fostering the bonds of friendship and promoting to the widest possible within the law the mutual aspirations of the peoples of our two nations and thereby enlarge our relations to levels merited and to the extent possible. Congratulations again and welcome to Kenya.
Alfreda, let me introduce you, Prime Cabinet Secretary and Cabinet Secretary for Foreign Affairs, Head of Public Service, the Republic of Kenya, Deputy Chief of Staff in my office, Principal Secretary for Foreign Affairs, Commander of our Kenya Air Force. Director Europe. Okay. Second Secretary, how are you? I'm fine. How long have you been in Kenya? Uh, six months. Oh, okay. Very good. Welcome to Kenya. Thank you. Hello, Hello Your Excellency. Habari asubui? Nzuri sana, ma'am. Yes. Just as a consultant. Okay. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Assistant. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please uh, look after her. I will. Okay. <laughs> Ambassador-designate of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic, I have the honor to present to you Dr. Sabit Subasik, a Bosnia designate of Bosnia and Herzegovina with residence in Cairo, Egypt. Excellency, I have honor to present to you, Excellency, the letter of recall of my predecessor and my credential by which Presidency of Bosnia and Herzegovina has appointed me to be next ambassador extraordinary and the plenipotentiary of Bosnia and Herzegovina to the Republic of Kenya. Allow me, Your Excellency, to present the compliments of the Presidency of Bosnia and Herzegovina and the people of Bosnia and Herzegovina to you personally and through you to the people of Kenya. It's my earnest hope that I shall proceed, uh, succeed in my endeavors to promote further the relation that exists between two countries and that uh, has a long history, even from the period of former Yugoslavia, in which Bosnia and Herzegovina was Central Republic 
we establish good economic ties and some important Bosnian companies that are successfully present here in Kenya for years. Your Excellency, let me remind you that Presidency of Bosnia and Herzegovina brought the decision to open the embassy in Nairobi, which will be, which will be the, the only embassy that we have in this part of Africa. We believe, we believe that this will be additional incentive for strengthening bilateral relation, relations between two countries even further. I, William Samoe Ruto, President of Kenya, by dint of Article 1324B of the Constitution of Kenya, do accept your letters of credence and authorize Your Excellency to pursue the interests of your government within the territory of Kenya by fostering the bonds of friendship and promoting to the widest possible and within the law the mutual aspirations of the peoples of our two nations and thereby enlarge our relations to the widest possible extent and merit. I welcome the decision of your government to open an embassy in Nairobi and I look forward to the conclusion of that exercise. Congratulations, Ambassador, on your appointment and welcome to Kenya. Ambassador, Prime Cabinet Secretary, and Minister for Foreign Affairs. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
head of public service. Thank you very much. Thank you. Deputy uh, Chief of Staff in my office. Principal Secretary for Foreign Affairs. Thank you very much. Thank you. Commander of uh, Kenya Air Force. Director Europe. We met. Thank you. Director Americas. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam. Director Africa. Thank you very much. Mr. President, Honorary Consul of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, President. It's you have honor. you have my support thank as you, you work hard between our two countries. Asante sana. Asante sana. <laughs> High Commissioner Designate of the Republic of Jamaica. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic, I have the honor to present to you Mrs. Joan Thomas Edwards, High Commissioner Designate of the Republic of Jamaica with residence in Pretoria, the Republic of South Africa. Your Excellency, Mr. President, on behalf of the government and people of Jamaica, I am honored by this opportunity to present my letters of credence to Your Excellency and the letters of recall for my predecessor. I bring greetings on behalf of the Prime Minister of Jamaica, the Most Honorable Andrew Onis, and Her Excellency, the Minister of, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, Minister Kamina Johnson-Smith and personally to you too, Mr. President. Jamaica and Kenya share strong bonds of friendship which are deeply rooted in our shared historical past. 
our, our similarities are to a large extent anchored in our cultures and mutual love of music and sports. Over the years, our bilateral interactions have deepened. This is evidenced by various agreements signed in the fields of air services, sports, culture, and heritage. There are also political consultations. We have movements in the area of, of trade and investment and tourism as well. During my tenure as Jamaica's High Commissioner to Kenya, it is my intention to advance discussions and actions in these areas to further strengthen our partnership. We also intend to strengthen the people-to-people -people contacts between our peoples through a variety of means, including cultural exchanges. It was a pleasure to also observe that there was a signing of an MOU between the Jamaica Stock Exchange in Jamaica and the Kenya Securities Exchange, an important step. Importantly, Mr. President, Jamaica is pleased to partner with Kenya in the area of digitalization following our discussions recently, and we look forward to knowledge sharing in this area. Mr. President, in the multilateral fora, Jamaica and Kenya have been, had shared and common positions and interests. In the multilateral arena, the UN, the WTO, we have shared positions. So I take this opportunity to express appreciation for the offer by Kenya to lead the multinational support mission to Haiti and its interest in restoring stability to Haiti. And we reaffirm, reaffirm Jamaica's commitment to supporting this critical mission. Additionally, Jamaica and CARICOM look forward to the conclusion of the pending Memorandum of Understanding, the MOU, between CARICOM and the African Union to establish a consultation cooperation mechanism between CARICOM member states and Kenya. Jamaica and Kenya, and the region rather, look forward to strengthening our commitment as the sixth region of Africa to strengthen the bonds of friendship and cooperation between our regions. Again, Mr. President, I reaffirm the commitment of Jamaica in strengthening our bonds of friendship. I thank you. Samuel Ruto, President of Kenya. By dint of Article 1324B of the Constitution of Kenya, accept your letters of grievance and authorize Your Excellency to pursue the interests of your government within the territory of Kenya by fostering the bonds of friendship and promoting to the widest possible within the law, the mutual aspirations of the peoples of our two nations, and thereby expand our relations to the widest extent possible. I also welcome the support of your government in the leadership of Kenya on the mission to Haiti to restore stability in that country and also welcome CARICOM's participation as the sixth region of the African Union. Madam Ambassador, congratulations on your appointment and welcome to Kenya.
Madam High Commissioner, Prime Cabinet Secretary and the Minister for Foreign Affairs, Head of Public Service, Deputy Chief of Staff in my office, Principal Secretary for Foreign Affairs, Commander of our Kenya Air Force, Thank you very much, and thank you for looking after the interests of Jamaica in Kenya. Thank you very much. President, I also present you the Minister Councillor in the High Commission for Jamaica in the Republic of South Africa, Mr. Andrew Price. Mr. Francis, how are you? Thank you very much. Your Excellency, sir, to bring this to a close, we'll finish with the Kenyan anthem, followed by the East African anthem, the Kenyan anthem. <laughs> 